<laughs> Hello, it's Donnie and Teslin over here. The camera's right here. There you go. Um, she's going to help me open this little package that came in the mail today. Right. Um, it's not a diamond painting, but it is used for diamond painting. And I bought this because Ella from Kickin' Cancer's Butt and Diamond Painting, she bought one. And I had to get one Enjoy. after I saw her. No, not that side. Just this side. Show them that side. Over here. See? <laughs> okay, let's open it up. And you all have to get one. Yeah, let me do it. All right, let me rip it. Let me start it. There we go. Now rip. There we go. Now pull it out. Whoa. <laughs> okay, show the camera what it is. It's a big one. It's a huge tray. Whoa. Yeah. Let's show you the difference here. Let's hold it up. See that? It's small and a big one. So for doing Whoa. multiples, multiple drills, this is going to be excellent. Now, if you watch um, Ella's channel, you've already seen this. And you, if, if you saw that, you probably ordered one right away. This cost $3.50. It did take a while to get here. Um, I can't look it up right now, but um, not too bad. But it's still, it's still, it took longer than somebody else um, was telling me. They gave me another link as to where they got theirs. And you can get a pack of five for like $7. And this one cost three fifty. dollars So I went ahead and ordered two more from that site. Because I didn't need another five. I already have one. So it costs four something for another two. So I think that's a pretty good deal considering this one is three fifty. dollars Here, let's show them again. See, look how big, how high up these sides are. Let's put this one in here, inside there, compared to, can you see the height difference? So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let Tessa go play, and I'm going to um, show how, how much it'll hold and how easy it is to do multi-drills with this gigantic tray. So let's get you down here. There we go. Okay, so this is the owl I'm working on. Um, if you watched, I know um, a lot of you don't need it, but if you watched my tutorial videos on uh, my 101 series, uh, this is the owl that I was using, and I started it, and I just couldn't stop, so I continued on. I did a little bit of it last night. There's not much to it. So now I have all my um, drills put into the containers. And so I'm going to do one of these areas here that has a lot. Let me zoom in a bit so you can see a little better. Let me move the camera. And go this way. There we go. Yeah. There. Okay, so I'm going to do some of this um, chest area where the eights are. I'm not really good at the nine placer. I use the three placer mostly, but I will do the six sometimes. And here you'll see I'll be able to do some of the sixes. So this is the eight. I'm just going to pour the entire bag in there. Oh, some of them didn't come out. Don't need it, but okay, there's one more. Okay, wait, camera's over here. I have the camera backwards from the way I normally do, but I mean, just give it your shake. I mean, there's so much room in here. You could probably get a small bag like this all shaked out. And then I saw Ella doing this. You just tap them downward. And look at that. Look at all those lines. Oh, yeah, I'm doing bad. There, there we go. Look at all those lines. So this is going to make it really super easy. Set it right there. Now I have my pin that has um, 
my drill pin that has the three on one side and the six on the other. Yeah, I'm, I'm having a hard time with the angle now because, like I said, I have my camera facing the wrong way. So, anyway, let's give this puppy a shot. Let's try some of the sixes first. Okay, I'm just going to go in here and grab some. I got six on there. And let's find a spot. Perfect. And you don't even have to count them. You can just go on to the go to the edge and you know you're gonna get six at once because this is a big area and you don't have to worry because I know that there's at least six that need to be drilled there. Yeah, that is awesome. Look at that. I just put down 18 drills in a matter of seconds. That's sweet. Now, I'll just continue doing this. I had a little bit I wanted to talk to you about. Um, now, I told you I'm going to do, um, I asked your opinion on doing the uh, a Drill With Me series. And I figured with the response I got, people want to do it. I'm going to do it um, on my Heaven and Earth giant epic saga or chronicles so when i start that i'm going to do um at least once a week i'd like to do it live so my concern is i'm on the west coast and so um my timing is different than yours, but I'm pretty flexible because I um, actually am a stay-at-home mom. And my question is going to be for, um, I mean, I'm not going to be able to accommodate everybody. And I think after it goes live, you can watch it later. Inside voice, Teslin. Thank you. Um, my question is when, what time zone are you in? If you're interested in doing this live, what time zone are you in and what is the best time of day? I mean, give me like a range of, you know, within a like four hour time slot, what is good for you? Like between four and eight or... Noon and four, whatever is, you know, best for you all. I want to be able to do it so that the most amount of people will be able to join in. Because you won't have to be on the video part, but you can actually uh, ask me questions and talk to me while I'm doing this. Um... live um, basically I've never done a live feed so that'll be new for everybody but I thought it might be interesting if we do it that way like once a week and the other times I'll do my um, a drill with me so I'll, I'll do them like just post them where I'm just talking like I'm doing right now. So yeah, let me know what, what time is best for everybody and I will figure it out. I do plan to get the Heaven and Earth uh, painting started really soon since I finally finished my, my Little Pony um, painting done. I do want to do the... My next thing on my agenda is to get that... Uh, Oh my gosh, the words just don't want to come to me today. The framing video, at least one of them. Um, I'm going to put, I'm going to finish off my very first diamond painting that I started that never got finished. And then frame it. So I will actually film myself finishing it. 
since I just have some uh, missing beads on that one that I need to fill in now that I have the colors for it and you will be able to be with me when I officially finish my very first diamond painting even though I've finished a couple since then and then I will frame it in the same video so that will be my next video I do after this one I'm hoping to do that next I don't know if I want to finish this owl first and then do it I, you know I'm just I'm not gonna stress over it I'm just gonna do what I do and when I do it I will film it and I will put it up for you I have a couple videos I just wanted to catch up on today so I don't have a lot that I need to do my big stress it was really stressful doing that um, 101 series just because I had so much information in my head that I wanted to get out on film but I didn't know how to get it out I mean I did it in four four parts that way people who are looking for one specific thing that they were trying to figure out how to do they didn't have to watch all the videos and and once I got it finished, it was a relief because I got everything said that I wanted to say, pretty much. And I'm hoping it helps some people. And, yeah. Okay, so as you can see, I've gotten a lot of this brown done already just from this tray. I mean, I don't have to pour into this smaller one several different times now because when I try to get them lined up like this you can't put a bunch in there because there's not a lot of room for the lined up areas and then you have to keep pouring back in new ones and shaking them again so these trays are worth it I just wanted to review it myself and I was so excited when it came I knew what it exactly what it was when I felt the package but yeah if you uh, have the $3.50 to spend or a little bit more if you want to get a couple, uh, I would say invest in one of these. And then if you haven't tried multi-drilling, this would be the perfect opportunity to do so because this makes it so convenient to do. Yeah. So I'm just setting this up for, I don't know why, I think I got all the areas that I can get that are multi but anyway that's it for this video thought you hoped you enjoyed it with little Tesla and being able to make an appearance and hopefully the next time I see you or you see me is me doing my um, framing video I know a lot of people have asked about framing videos and I've just been really putting it off but Enough of that. I'm going to get it done after I do this owl. I've just made that decision. I'm going to do it after I finish this these owls because it's cute. And I, I wanted to do um, a second tutorial on that, that uh, diamond sheet paper as well. I wanted to do that on this owl. So, all right. That's that. And I hope you enjoyed my little demonstration of... Uh, this tray and showed you the progress on my little owl and if you watched if you wanted to see an update on my my little pony painting you can look at that in my uh, uh, step one of the 101 tutorial uh, I will do a video here at one point and show you all the ones I've done which isn't a whole lot but yeah that's what I'll do and until next time, have fun diamond painting and relax your shoulders. Very important. Bye, guys.